What is good friends, we are back with more World Cup and we have Mounts vs Advantage and Advantage has brought a team that is pretty similar to the team that... So, not so wind, that Bengay brought in Smoke to his semi-finals. And I think I had a 3 gun over Scythe Midwood, I'm not 100% sure. Mew on both teams, Mew is so good in Aorus, but... If Mounts can weaken the Scissor... Weevil is looking like a threat. Weevil is looking like a threat for sure. I assume that's gonna be a Scarf Excadrill. Uh, Actually, it could be Stealth Rocks Drill. I was thinking Stealth Rocks Mew at first, but I'm not sure. The deck tree is a bit annoying because it can trap the Excadrill. It can also trap the... If it still has the Sash and Tech, it can trap the Wee Well. He leads up with Talonflame, he gets a free Willow Wisp, turn 1. On a Seismitoad. Seismitoad can go for a knockoff, predicting the Suicune. He goes for Tom, predicting the, the Stealth Rocks, really nice play. And Burn still has 12% in Aura, so the Seismitoad is getting chipped away at. Burn is busted as fucking Aura, is not gonna lie. He just will was for Gamp breaking the switch. I assume this is gonna be Spadef Bulky Talonflame and he can eat up Scald with ease. That's the only reason why he would stay in on the Seismitoad. He does just go for a Brave but breaking, I assume his Scald is coming out here. That had um, a bit more, actually, yeah, I thought it would do like 44. Yeah, that was that around the... Uh, he's gonna roost here. That did around the amount that I would have thought, that I thought it would have done. And he is gonna... He might heat wave here breaking the Excadrill. Yeah, that was <laughs> the thing he with Zepsic though, this other one guy said it. It doesn't sick though, but it's really annoying. I can see him even staying in because it's so annoying, but yeah, he goes into Mew. And he gets a critted, which sucks, no para though. I assume the Mew is gonna go for a knockoff or a will o wisp Not sure if he has Defog on the Mew or if he relies on Rapid Spin to get rid of the hazards. There's no Sable, Mega Sable is banned, so he does go into Excadrill breathing a Discharge. What well, would be cool to see is Toxic Excadrill. But he does have Heal Bell anyway, so not that... Vanish can stay in here if he has Heat Wave. It's not the end of the world if a Zapdos gets poisoned, even if he has that. Other than that, I could see... I think Mount is gonna double out. The duck tree in the back is also really annoying because you can't really go for rock slide and lock into that. If I'm advantage, I would probably go to scissor or go for heat wave. Oh, you can also go into Mew because Mew is just so bulky and reliable. But getting off the mega on scissor is nice in case that we was banded, so so you can take off knock off, so you can eat up knock off with ease. Because Mega Scissor gets a lot of defense after evolving. And yeah, advantage did play was get this money earlier. I did miss that game. Like I said in another video, I'm not sure yet if I'll record the replay. It was a decently long game, so probably not. Gonna record that, and hmm, this is taking long. Yeah, if I mounts, I probably. Deceptus is so annoying, I would probably double into something. He goes for rocks, okay. I would probably double into something, I would have covered the scissor and the doggy. So I probably would have gobbled into Talonflame there, yeah. But if Zapdos stayed in, that wouldn't have worked out, so I can understand just going for rocks. If he went hard doggy day, he would have looked like an overlord. So I assume this is like a... Maybe it's a double defog team. It doesn't have to be, because Zapdos has pressure and can deal with most rockers. But yeah, it's a double defog team, so it's so. That's what I thought, so it's gonna be Willow with defog, Roost, and then either Knockoff or Psychic, something like that. I think he's gonna... Yeah, he's Volt Switch, oh, right. I think, didn't Benge have that two on his team? Completely forgot. Yeah, did not see that one coming. Volt Switch is for momentum, yeah. But usually I understand Volt Switch if you have like a spec Hooper that you can bring in. I mean, Hooper is banned in Auras, but just in general. I understand Volt Switch if you have a powerful Warbreaker to bring in. 
but this is uh, on this team it's a bit weird because you don't really have a powerful wall breaker but it's wall switch and abduct tree to trap stuff potentially u-turn or probably u-turn on scissor because you don't want to get trapped by magnus on so i assume it's going to be u-turn scissor and he doubles out into duck tree breathing the exit a really nice play Is Mons predicted? What did Mons predict there? So he can eat one up because X Duck is kind of weak in ours. Only has base 80 attack, but the next one is going to kill him. But w what did happen again? So the Mew Volt switched on the Talon Flame. Zapdos came out, and then he doubled into Duggy on the predicted X Crew. Really nice play, well. And then he 2 killed the drill that got up rocks. And now Medicham is in. And the Mew's gonna come out here, so if I'm Mons, I would probably double into Weewall. He can't double, because, um, he can't double. He can't double because of Arena Trap. But he sacks off a Seismitude to ensure that he gets off the uh, Devog with a Mew. Which is smart. I mean, Mew is maybe, maybe the Mew is Spadaf and he didn't want to switch it in hard on a high jump kick. On a potential high jump kick. Yeah, the Suicune is gonna be annoying now. Did he just sex Seismitude versus Kuhn? <laughs> But he's obviously gonna defog here because he needs these rocks gone and he already got rid of the stealth rock setter. I don't think he's gonna have a second stealth rock user that is pretty rare. I've used two stealth rock users when I first played competitive and didn't know that much. But it's actually not that bad on some teams, not gonna lie. Because sometimes you people don't expect it and they think they're safe and sack the defog and then you have a second rocker in the back. It's like more of a niche thing. I don't I wouldn't really I don't really use it like on point on purpose. But back in the day when I was bad it worked out for me. <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm great now, these that I'm a great player now, but I was like super bad back in the day. As yeah, the Magem just gets some high jump kick chip and the Mew is gonna softball here. Actually did 40%, so maybe a high roll can kill the Mew here. Yeah, you can fish for a high roll slash crit here with the Mei. Because burn is actually, you can't underestimate burn. Aura's burn is actually broken as fuck because it does 12% every turn like I said earlier. It's either go for the roll slash crit or go into go into Weewall is another play. Uh, yeah, you can also go Talon. How, how else is the Talon Flame? He could go into Talon Flame here and then go for Roost. But that would bring in the Zapdos. And the Zapdos is so annoying to deal with for mounts. The Zapdos is a pain to deal with. But if he's gonna keep. If he can keep his manage him healthy. I actually want to collect this if it's a roll on the Mew. Um, yeah, I'm in the Sun and Moon Calc, I think, not in the Aura Zone, so I gotta be careful that I don't Calc with Duck Trio and mess up the Calc again. I did that before. But yeah, he does go on a Wee while, so we don't have to Calc for now. I'll Calc if the situation comes up again. He probably run the Calc and know that it will most likely not kill. And yeah, Wee is gonna go for. Knock off versus pursuit, knock off versus pursuit. Since the Mew is more spadev and I assume this Weaver is gonna be banned. Yeah, knock off will blow this away if it's spadev Mew. I assume he has some spit fist dev, let's say like 80 EVs. It's just like some. Yeah, knock off would still blow him away. I don't know, like. Chansey's really spit dev bulky, so this Mew could uh, could be fifth dev in my opinion. But he stays in Mounts gets that potential 50 50 50 correct. But now he gets revenged, which is why Duck Tree is a disgusting Arena Trap is a disgusting ability because he's gonna go for reversal and blow this away. Yup, focus slash Duggy is just disgusting because he always guaranteed to trap specific mons. But Medicham is looking like a big threat now as he got he got rid of the Mew and the Duggy's down to the sash, so it cannot reliably revenge the Medi anymore. Suicune also looks really annoying. Suicune looks super annoying. Suicune might just win this game. Oh my god, look at this bad pun. He just threw away the dot dot dot. I'm not gonna pronounce say it. It's disgusting by this bad pun. <laughs> But 
But yeah, looking really good for mounts. Does he have a reason to click anything other than fake out here? It's probably too risky, but I think the Zapdos showed pressure, right? I'm just trying to figure out if the Zapdos is pressure or static. Yeah, the Zapdos showed pressure, so he can't get paralyzed here by a potential static. I mean, he can go for Ice Punch, predicting the Zapdos, but that would be risky. I think I would just click fake out here. Because Medigen puts in so much work, you don't want to let it take damage. If he Ice Punches, he has a God, and then, but yeah, he just makes a safe play. Oh. I would have made that play too. Doubles out on the ooh, on the ice punch. Okay. I thought that Mounts would switch, fearing the discharge para there. The Zapdos says discharge, right? Yeah, I showed discharge earlier. Maybe he put the Mew and doubled into Scissor, but if Mew has Willow, Scissor doesn't even maybe maybe Scissor doesn't even beat Mew. I'm not really sure. I I guess he just predicted the ice punch. And a high jump kick, how much does a high jump kick do from a Medicham? I don't know why I put blank set, that was not that was not on purpose. Where's this a scissor? Uh, let's say bulky swords dance. I mean they don't run swords dance, but if it's impish with one out sixteen it can live. But yeah, this is gonna do a fuck down to the scissor if he stays in high jump kicks. But I'm not sure, yeah exactly, I was about to say, um, it's probably not the smartest to let the Manichem take damage. Because Manichem puts in a lot of work with advantage. He can roost here, predicting the discharge, but if he's gonna get, if he gets parried, it's gonna be really annoying. So he kind of just needs to get up a Calm Mind on something, like... If it's a fast Takoon than the Zapdos, it probably beats it one on one as long as it doesn't get parried or crit. Usually Synchronize is really cool on Mew, but yeah, with Zapdos it doesn't really help you if they go for Discharge Paras, because you can't para back electric types. What would I do here from Mounts? I go either into Mew, if he's I think earlier the Discharge did like 40 with a crit to the Mew, so if you can avoid the para, it's gonna be really nice. Discharge, yeah, did 43 with a crit, so it looks like a Spadev Mew to me. He doesn't have T-Spike support. I know that you can use Vin Coon without T-Spike support, but I assume it's just gonna be um, the standard Coon. Would he be rest or would he be would he be rest with Roar or would he be um, sleep talk over Roar on this team? I'm trying to see. Does he have Hazard support? He only has rocks. He doesn't have spikes. He goes for Roost, so hopefully no Para here. I mean, it shouldn't matter because. I think a Medichamp plus Kuhn should win this game for mounts. I mean, if he can avoid the para here, this would be really good for mounts, and he basically can beat this one on one, but that kills, wow. So he gets a high roll there, as he. It did 30, right? So, Roost, you obviously lose the flying type if you Roost. But if it would have done the same roll again, it would have done 60, but it did 65, so you obviously get a high roll there. So that was a bit unfortunate. But it's still fine, he can just click... Fake out an Ice Punch here. Would Fake out bring the Scissor into High Jump Kick range? How much would it do? It would... Fake out potentially brings the Scissor into High Jump Kick range. It could still be a roll. I don't know if that was like a high roll on the talent so it had to like it had to be like a near max roll on the Oh god let's go to X Y in the Calc Talon Flame Spadaf versus Zapdos Oh he goes hard for high jump kick breaking the scissor what a god I thought you would have ice punch there I was never thought about high jump kick I don't think that play was necessary because yeah, like we see Ice Punch would have brought it probably in range, yeah. 
And it says I can get some bullet punch damage here. If Mons wants to keep this Magicham healthy, he can go on a Suicune. Which is why I could see advantage U-turning, but bullet punch is probably the play. And discharge. If the Talonflame is maxed with death, with some of these of these Talonflames running some speed. If it's maxed with death, it would have it was a near max roll, because it it did 65 and 66 point it is the max roll so I'm a bit unfortunate for Mons but he's still in a really good position he does break the bullet punch he goes into Suicune and Vantage makes an aggressive play goes for Roost uh, yeah I only mentioned U-turn if he breaks this if he breaks the Coon but he can obviously go for Roost too so now he's gonna go into Chansey but this can come up to plus 6 and I don't think Chansey beats Suicune at all because Seismic Toss doesn't beat Kuhn. Kuhn has pressure to stall you out of PP. Toxic doesn't beat Kuhn if it has rest. And Scald, if it burns the chance, he does 12% every turn. I know Chansey can switch out because it has natural cure, but something else has to take 5 million from Scald if it Chansey switches out. If the Kuhn comes up to plus 6. So, yeah, probably I assume that Mons is going to start coal mining up here. And the scissor is going to U-turn. What would the last move, last move on the scissor be? Would it be as the bullet punch? Because I don't think it's defog when he already has Mew, defog, Mew and the defog Zapdos. It's either... The, I think SD here. He starts call mining up. So we see the U-turn and what is he going to do now? Go Zapdos or go Chansey? Because doesn't Zemus don't has, exist yet, so like Doctrio can't do anything to this. I mean, can Earthquake for some chip damage with Dougie? Like, look at how weak Doctrio was in Auras. I'm gonna show you a Kalk, the Trio, or your Trapper versus Sweet Coon. God, I missed. I messed up. Uh, Doctrio. Let's just say Max Defense Sweet Coon. Earthquake does 19 to 23. Look at this pitiful. This is a joke damage. Like, this is nothing. But possible 6 hit KO of the leftovers recovery. <laughs> Good times when Dactrio was bad as fuck or weak as fuck. It was still annoying because you can obviously trap stuff like Heaton and Tita. But yeah, Suicune is just gonna spam Combine here. If he just gets some burns every now and then on the chance, it's looking really bad for the chance, for advantage. It's not like. He really has counterplay to this Kuhn at this point. He doesn't really, yeah, at this point, I don't really know what my advantage is going to do about this Kuhn other than try to avoid Scald Burns and discharge Para or Crit with Zapdos after. Like, he's trying to resolve me toss it down so it has to rest. Or he's going to Toxic so it has to rest, and then when it has to rest, he's uh, probably going to go Zapdos and try to crit it. Not really sure what else he's going to try and do here. Yup, there's a toxic to force the rest. I mean, mounts can go for command one more time before he goes for rest, for sure. Because commanding again makes it so that Zapdos does even less damage. Like, Zapdos already does zero damage with this judge at this point, but with another command, this is like completely nothing. And you obviously have to boost up your skulls before you start attacking. Yeah, he does waste two seismic toss PP there thanks to pressure. And I probably would go for rest here. It's death predict that and go into Scizor. So if this doesn't have sleep talk, the Scizor can SD up and do a good amount of damage to the Coon. Does he have sleep talk? He doesn't have sleep talk, so this is actually kind of scary for Mount. Um, yeah, but this is like a new turn here. Yeah, he does U turn, and that's absolutely nothing. Look at that chip damage. That is definitely max defense. I would assume that did ab that did jack shit. And yeah, he's gonna comment up to plus six. Yeah, I remember. When <laughs> I love to spam Suicune at one point in Aura X one.
Uh, sometimes I don't understand why Suicune is in UU. I think, is it still in UU? I never understand that. I know that UU had like good checks in X and Y slash auras. They had like um, Heliolisk and stuff like that with um, dry skin. So it kind of fits in the tier. It's not broken there or anything, but like this one is crazy, dude. It says it's BL2, so yeah, it, by <laughs> new toy syndrome, so it was even an RU, I think, at the start of this gen. Yeah, Toxic Deforest the rest comes out again, but he can come out one more time, and then he's gonna rest again. And Chansey already wasted four of his seismic tosses now, not that PP really matters, he has to at least try to do something to this coon. Rust comes out here, goes back in the scissor, but this doesn't do anything for advantage. You guys saw how little the plus two U-turn did, it did pitiful jack shit damage. <laughs> and the Kuhn having leftovers still intact is also pretty huge for mounts. If you would get rid of the lefties, that would be clutch for advantage. So knockoff and scissor would be really nice, but like, like we obviously know the scissor and time moveset. He didn't show bullet punch, I think, but it's so obvious that the last move is bullet punch. So he's gonna be asleep for one but Never mind, he's gonna wake up here. So he's gonna command here, so... Then he's at plus six. Elixir yeah, isn't advantage's best chance to crit with Zapdos. That was, that's what I was saying earlier. And then he got muted for seven minutes. Because <laughs> you're not allowed to ghost and smoke this chat. But yeah, it's pretty cool when I record my videos. I can give my thought without getting punished. If I talk in the chat, I would get punished. I mean, it's not like I'm really ghosting or anything, but I'm giving... Sometimes I'm giving potential pr plays. Like, this is not too hard to understand the scenario. I kinda agree with Leak that he should try to crit him. Cause he's not getting anywhere. The, like, what he's doing at the moment, he's just hoping that he doesn't get Scald burned. The first Scald is gonna come out here. It does absolutely nothing to the Chansey, so... The thing is, Chansey eventually, he has to, he has to soft bolt here. He goes for Toxic first, okay, okay. Now he can go for softball, but if the chance he gets burned, which he doesn't, advantage is really lucky here. If he can keep this up and not get burned, it's, he's in a good position. But he will get burned eventually, and then his chance he's forced out. The Suicune is gonna go for one more skull here for sure. Goes for rest hard, which is a good play in the sense that he doesn't waste his skulls, but I'm not sure about that. I think he should have just fished for the skull burn. Yeah, I think he should have just wished fish for the burn one more time. But how many scores does he have? He has 20 left. I mean, <laughs> look at that damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He just has to call out the stall skulls. I understand it. But usually, skull is broken and always gets the burn. Exactly, there it is. So if this happens, he cannot stay in with his chancy for too long. And if he gets crit, it's also gonna be really bad for advantage. So how many softballs does he have left? He has 13 left. Also, even if the Kuhn runs out of stuff, he can also just go hard into Medichim. Let's say on this specific turn, he can go hard into Medichim. Like if Mounts is if Mounts says I've had enough, I'm not playing this game anymore. He can go hard into and break in the softball, go hard into Medichim. And then high jump kick um, basically would get a kill as long as it hits. Which would probably be the Dougie getting sacked off. <laughs> so we do see he has 15 left. But happened. Why are they saying no? Oh, I think he got crit. I'm behind. This is how you reward goatness. I'm behind. I think he got critted. Okay, that's that's pretty annoying. So the first this just is pitiful damage. And I assume the crit is gonna come out soon because the chill was saying no. Damn, and oh my lord and stuff like that. But no, he switched it out. Switched out. Oh, did he miss a high jump kick? Did he miss a high jump kick? No. Oh, oh. Okay, that sucks. Because that put of two it killed the scissor and bullet punch obviously doesn't kill. Especially from full. From half bullet punch might kill. Oh, he misses another one. Oh, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? This is why you don't play Pokemon. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, 
game. I mean, you still play Pokemon, but this is why Pokemon can be really annoying from time to time. As now he's he has to basically try and win with Suicune or S Mew, but like Mew didn't reveal any moves there, which is interesting. Um, but I wanted to make sure that my video isn't in public yet because I have like three or four World Cup games recorded. And I don't want to upload too many at the same time. I will upload like one every three hours so people can at least somewhat follow. I have like four or five recorded today. Okay, we see it's a taunt Mew, so it's probably taunt to Roos Willow with knockoff, aka a pretty standard set in RS. Oh, yes, it's psychic. Wow. Not having knockoff sucks because getting rid of the Zapdos leftovers would have been nice. If he discharge Paras the Mew, that's not even that bad for Mounts because on the turns he gets Paras, he doesn't waste any PP. And I don't know if it's gonna come down to some PP war, but it's not looking too good for Mounts. I assume he's gonna go for the Suicune switch here. She so predicts that and goes into Zapdos, but okay, just taunts. What does Psychic or Mew hit besides Mega Venusaur and Auras? I mean, it's just. A stab move that you can spam to do some chip damage to a lot of mons. But I like knockoff usually a bit more in auras on you. Especially after save like a bad, it's just so nice. Even though I don't know how much I agree with banning save like in auras because Medicum is so annoying there. Ooh, yeah, Manaphy is also a threat. I don't know why I didn't bring one. Now when we were Manaphy you need like Renance and you have to be at plus 6 to do a good amount to chance otherwise you get walled. And yeah, if you're plus 6 without rain, you have to scald burn chance to break through I think. But he yeah, is going to pressure zap just kind of pp stalling this mute. This is, oh man, I don't want to watch this man. This would have been a faster game if you didn't miss the high jump kick, but now it's, we're gonna sit here for a while now. Gets a spadef drop, which is something. I mean, he has to go on a Kuna on the correct turn, try to calm it up again. Ex Did he go Kuna on this turn? No, he missed the Willow. -Will. Come on, let this boy, let this boy hit a move. What did he do to deserve this? Like what? Pokemon is not fair at all. And he's gonna go back to Zapdos. here, baiting out the Willow Wisp and trying to burn two Willow Wisp PP with pressure. No, he did not. I mean, he has heal balance chances, so it's fine. But I, I, I would have gone Zapdos there. But yeah, it works out for advantage. Zapdos is faster, so you can roost up here. The, the, the game does tend to reward bad players. I mean, I wouldn't say he's a bad player. <laughs> but Mons doesn't deserve this. To lose like this, to a high jump kick, double miss, and... Am I even behind? Discharge... Switches back into Scissor, PP Stalling, Psychic, blah 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 blah. U turns into Zapdos, roosts up Taunt. So Mew only has 20 Taunt, which is 10 Taunts if it's on Zapdos because of pressure, and only 6 Psychics, which is, which is really worse, is the Zapdos. So I guess he's going for Last Mon Kuhn, I don't know. I don't think Kuhn is gonna be able to win this unless he gets some crit burns on the, on the chance he. I saw the combination of Kuhn plus Medichim won him the game, which I think I would have done if he didn't miss two high jump kicks. Uh, like, if he, if he hit every high jump kick, he would have been good. Double taunting, predicting the Zapdos there, I think, so the Zapdos can't roost. It didn't work out. I would triple taunt predicting the Zapdos. Did he do it? No, he didn't. F. -f. I'm just gonna roost up here. Yeah, this is not looking too good for Mons. Discharge fishing for the para, doesn't get it. And I think the Mew is out of Psychic. It has one left, okay. Will always on the chance. He taunts for the chance he can't. Toxic slash soft boiled. And he's gonna go back in the Scizor. Actually, how healthy is the Scizor? Yeah, it's at 47. So he's gonna U turn out here. I mean, this is just one of the mons that are there to like PP stall because it's not really doing much. Does he even have heal ball? He showed seismic toss toxic softball. I think he has heal ball, yeah. 
Look at the rocks around seismic toes. Discharge and finally the para is there, which can help which can help mounts in the sense that yeah if he gets para he doesn't waste the PP on that turn. He's just gonna go on a chancy here, because the chancy can softball on the Mew. Para's broken in auras. So the chancy's gonna outspeed the Mew and he can obviously easily go for he can freely go for softball here. And yeah, now he's gonna attempt his last chance to win, which is combating up to plus six. And then trying to get burns or crits on this, or both at least. Like, yeah, crits and burns. Yeah, <laughs> show the aromatherapy. Same thing as here, well. Oh my lordy. So he's just gonna get up to plus six. You can call it one more time here. Actually, hard, roost, hard rest is probably the play. Because comment one more time. If the Zapdos is faster, actually, I mean, if the Zapdos crits you, it crits you anyway. It doesn't matter if you're asleep. It just has to avoid the critty and rest. And discharge. He's trying to crit him now, but he only has two PP left. Needs to pressure. Dude, if he crits, I'm gonna throw my computer out the window. You already know. <laughs> You're already at turn hundred. You know it's auras. Live recording, I'm fine, but like, I don't really want to narrate the replay from the other game earlier because it's like 90 turns. I said this multiple times now. No crits so far, and I think he's out of this judge. Yep, he's out. So at least he didn't come through with the crits, and he's at plus 6 now. Commanded again to not raise the skull, which is smart. Chance he almost out of toxic. He's just spamming command to let the chance he waste side me toss and toxic PP. Now he's gonna rest. As the scissor can roost up, but this doesn't really do anything. Scissor's just another mono life, so advantage basically has some more PP to spend. But chancy is the main thing that that holds advantage together. If you didn't have the chancy, this game would be over. Comments again pretty in the chancy. He doesn't want to waste the skull PP yet, it seems. But eventually he has to waste skull PP. Yeah, sleep talk would, I think sleep talk would be nice in this game. Like Raw has a lot of PP, but like Sleep Talk would be nice in the sense that you have more skull PP because you can even if you're out of your regular skulls, you can still pull a skull with sleep tower. So it really would be nice in that sense. Okay, so Gen Z is out of toxic now. Just something. If Mons had Hazard up on top of this world would be really nice. I assume he's gonna rest here. I just called and the scissor is gone, so that was nice. Catches him on that. I mean, he was eventually gonna click Scald. This Duck Trio. Don't you just. You just rest here with the Coon, right? I mean, like I said, I calculated it. It does 19 to 23. If it's the max defense coon. So yeah, he, he can screech predict in the rest. So I would just scald here, I think. Does the poison do too much damage? Yeah, I think. How much? <laughs> Last time he was at how much percentage? At the 12%. Yeah, I think I think he can barely lift the poison. He can kill the Duck Tree with Skull, barely left the poison. The Zapdos is out of discharge, so it doesn't matter how low his Suicune gets, he can get to 2%, that's fine. Zapdos can't kill his Suicune. If Dagi is dead, the Kunot speeds the Chansey and rests on that. And the Zapdos has, even if it has Defog, that can't kill the Kun from like, even if it's at 3%. The thing is, Dagi wins on its own. Oh, Reversal does more than Earthquake, that's my fault, yeah. I didn't calc Reversal. So let's say Reversal of the Duggies at 1%. That does 25 to 30. So Mount needs a low roll here to be in the game. Like, if he gets a super low roll, maybe he has a chance to live this. Yeah, this is the deciding turn, this is correct. But even if... Oh, he goes for rest. I don't know if that was the play. Because now he's gonna get screeched. Oh, he doesn't have screech? He doesn't have screech? What the fuck? 
Okay, never mind then. Okay, so that was the correct play by Mons. I thought he had Screech. Yeah, that's doing pitiful damage. You can just keep resting, basically. I mean, you can Scald here. He doesn't have to. Okay, I can understand why he didn't go for Scald. Because he only has 14 left and he wanted to save his Scald. Maybe he just wants to save his Scald and wants the Dagi to kill itself from pressure. I'm not really sure. Goes into Chansey. That's the Scald. Please burn, please burn, no burn. Hmm. Wait, what did he show on this? He showed Earthquake and Reversal on the Dagi, right? I don't remember. Maybe he has Stone Age on Dagi. Goes for Aromatherapy because he doesn't want to waste any PP. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna sit here for a while. So we're at 18 already. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't be here if the um, double high jump kick hit. I think Mods would have won this pretty convincingly. Coming spam with aromatherapy spam. I think he should go for rest. Because if he's asleep, he can save PP. Never mind, he wasted a seismic toss, so no, he doesn't have to go for rest anymore. Give, just get a crit burn. There's the burn, nice. But he goes for aromatherapy. Uh, yeah, he only has 12 skulls left, so this is looking kind of bad for Mons. Imagine if there was a Seismic Toad. Imagine if there was a Mega Medic Gem, dude. Imagine if Mons was a good game, well... <laughs> Mons is not a bad game, but the RNG sometimes can be annoying. Please please tell me that you... Mm. I mean, I can understand why when Zap does to waste two Skulls in case the Kuhn attacked. I mean, eventually you have to attack, it doesn't really matter if you come and up here. <laughs> it just needs crit burn on Chansey. Do it already. How much comments? How many comments does he have? Four. Look at Chansey. Almost ta Chansey almost out of PP. What the fuck? Shoutouts to pressure. Sex of the doggy, but there's only 11 skulls left. <laughs> the thing goes all the time. I mean, does it matter? You have only 11 skulls, and if it hits the Zapdos, you have, it wastes two. Um, I mean, will we ever see last move? I think last move is war. <laughs> yeah, this is actually Mount actually has a chance because he's out of seismic toss soon. There's the rest. Yeah, he's out of seismic toss soon. Keeps wasting all his seismic tosses. It only has one left now. So I guess Mount still has a chance. Okay, okay. Because the if he gets the burn of this thing. Chansey has to switch now. Always softballs. Yeah, this is amazing for Mount. Good lord. Did Adventure forfeit or did he crit him? I think he forfeited, wow. I didn't realize that the Kuhn would beat him like that. I thought he could start it out with Chansey and Zapdos. There's the roar. And he just forfeited, wow. I mean, we could have played it out for another 150 turns or some shit or 100 turns. But he basically was... F yeah, I can understand why it's over. Because... If he went on to Chansey, he, he's forced to spam softball, that's his only move, or to click pressure. And if he switches back into Zapdos, he's gonna get blown away because it's a plus 6 gold, which does too much damage. Mounts also has a Mew in the back. So nice. 
Nice to see that the hacks didn't decide the game. And nice 40 minute video. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, I think this was like. I recorded two Aura's OE World Cup games. I recorded like. One replay for Thunder Moon OU. And I recorded. Uh, I recorded Leaks game live. And I recorded. Uh, 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 I, recorded, I recorded three other games live. The League game, uh, League vs Eternal Spirit, I mean, then I recorded the Jumas game versus Destiny Device and I recorded Snow vs Duke Vesper, so enjoy all the games, not sure when I'm gonna upload this, probably the last, maybe it's gonna be the next day after this happens. Stay tuned for a lot of content and peace out of France. Mounts takes the win for France over I'm actually not sure which team advantage is on. You guys will see it in the thumbnail because I always put the flag or the logo of the team there. I think he's on some American team, but I'm not really sure. So, peace out. Duckridge signing out. Bob.